Hey folks, Stray Benz is here. Today I got a topic for you that some of you might find a little off-putting because it's not necessarily the OEM way to go about this, but at least it's a temporary fix. And that is uh, fixing Benz, rear Benz suspension springs, at least on a temporary basis until you can fix the final fix. And that's a uh, new suspension rubbers as well as new springs. That's usually what is going to address a saggy bottom on some of those. So here we go. So what I'm talking about here is, see the front suspension is pretty far up. And this is not a self-leveling suspension car. And after 30 years, they do tend to sag. Some of you guys like the low riding look and, and you cut the springs out of it. I don't. I'd like to have it the regular height. Um, the bottom, the, the spring never bottoms out on this one and on one other car that I fixed like this it's really been almost 30,000 miles and what I used was one of these for the US Advanced Auto and some other people online feature that and like I said some of you are not gonna like it but it's a temporary fix and here I can show you what, how to twist these in. And you need a car jack and a couple of jack stands, a half inch drive, a socket set, and here we go. So what you do is you take a half inch drive driver that goes into uh, the back of these twist ends. And they get positioned in the springs and you with the help of using the ratchet, you actually turn this into the spring and lock them in place. And I'm gonna show you how that's done. Safety tip, chuck the wheels, have a jack stand and a good uh, lift, a good jack before you attempt to go under there. I want for you to be safe. Don't do anything uh, without those safety devices at an absolute minimum all right so here we are another car got the spring boost in there and they go in like this so you twist them in like that and they're only they're not a complete 180, they have about 90 degree offset. So the other one, I don't know if you can see it, but it's going like barely in kitty corner over the other side. And then we're gonna uh, get the car down and see where it stands because this set has uh, two stages, meaning you twist them in to this and that has about an inch lift or an, almost an inch and a half if you twist them in one more nothing high quality it does the job until you get this done the right way because the right way of doing it is uh, removing your springs you do need a special spring compressor for that one you also need to remove the, the shock I mean there there are a couple of things. It's kind of like a mushrooming, a scope creep project because there are all kinds of other rubber bushings that you should be exchanging while you're at it uh, because that is typically the reason why it has a saggy bottom. When you're done, it should look something like this. And again, if you don't, you're not satisfied with the height yet, twist, give it another 90 degree twist on those uh, twisting devices and see what it does but this one should be just fine when we get this one down off the stands you know the final result you can see it's definitely visibly lifted some um, to original height looks a little bit better until we get time to fix the spring all right folks give me a like share the videos freely in the playlists uh, give me your suggestions. One suggestion that comes up all the time is the sunroof. That's definitely on my list. Trust you me, guys. That's a very frequent uh, topic. And then also the idling of the, uh, the engine 
on any of the six uh, and uh, V8s of various uh, vintages, especially the ones from 86 all the way to the end to the early 90s with the KE Jetronic. There's also a link that I'm going to share uh, with a playlist from another channel that you might want to check out. That's from the uh, MBCA, the Events Club of America. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye. Keep the classics on the road.